Okay, I've had this question asked quite a few times. How do I colorize a black and white? Or how do I just make a certain portion of the image black and white uh, in Lightroom? Well, there's a few ways to do it. Let's grab your color image here. Go to your adjustment brush. Select saturation. Go to minus 100. Your brush, uh, let's bring the density and the flow to 100%. And just make your brush really large. And let's go ahead and desaturate the entire image. So by having your flow and density at 100, uh, you're going to get total black and white with no color left behind. Next thing you want to do is hit the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac. And what it does is, if you notice over here, it's going to select the Erase tool. You can just click on the Erase tool, and it becomes an Erase tool. Or you can just click on the Alt key and then the Erase tool gets activated. If your flow is at 100%, you will bring back all the color. So while I'm holding the Alt key, all my color is being brought back from that last action with that adjustment brush of desaturating the entire image. So I'm kind of erasing what I did um, and deciding what to bring back. That's one way to uh, colorize a black and white image. Now, you notice these edges um, are a little tougher to get at. So let's zoom in a little bit and work on this little section over here. Now, you've got the, the edge of the flowers. Now, it's oh, oops, got the Alt key to erase it, bring back the color. Uh, what you want to do is come over to your auto mask click check on that. What that's going to do is going to allow you to paint within the lines. So as I start painting, you'll notice that it will stick. If I hold on a second, make sure auto mask is selected. When I hit alt, I didn't check auto mask. The erase feature didn't have auto mask checked, so I'm going to go ahead and do that over. You'll notice that the lines, the color it's only going to paint back where you started. So if I started in the background, it'll continue in that background color. If I started on my subject, it'll continue on that subject color. Be aware that when you check Auto Mask, you see it sometimes doesn't capture everything. Um, it's not very, uh, it's great for the edges, but not within an image. So let me uncheck it so I can get this portion uh, painted in nicely here. There we go. So use those tools, use the auto mask feature to stay within the lines, um, use the alt button or the erase feature to bring back your color once you black and white the image by using your adjustment brush. The other way, let's reset this image, is to use the same brush uh, that you use to black and white the entire image and just black and white portion of the image instead of the whole thing. So let's take this jacket and we'll black and white just the jacket. Now there's going to be some areas where you got some detail by the flower, the edges of his jacket. So I don't want to go up in there just yet. I'm going to go over here and check auto mask. And now when I start painting, it will stick to his jacket and will not allow me to go outside those lines. So the jacket will be nice and black and white. And you'll notice that the flower won't be touched, even though I'm being very sloppy and not careful. It's staying within the lines for me. And you can just control plus to zoom in, move your navigator around, uncheck auto mask, and just finish it up by hand the areas that uh, Lightroom did not get. And that's pretty easy right there. So we black and whited his jacket. Uh, another thing to remember is the flow. If I want to not black and white the entire flower. So let's, if I'm on 100%, it's going to make these flowers black and white, and it will remove all the color. But if I bring the flow down, let's say to 50%, watch what happens. It's only taking half of the color out. So depending on the effect that you want, use your flow to determine how much you're going to remove or bring back. And it works both ways. It works on the erase side, and it works also on the uh, on the brush side. So uh, determining, based on what you want, what the look that you're going for, uh, 
don't forget about that flow uh, to bring back a lot of color, a little bit of color, remove color, all of it, or a portion of it. Well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.